Hello people, welcome to the War Z. Now, this is the zombie survival apocalyptic FPS so-called MMO, but I'll, uh, I kind of dispute the fact this is called an MMO, but whatever, we'll get onto that a bit later from uh, Hammerpoint Interactive. Now, this is me creating a character, so obviously I've put a name in and I've selected normal. Now, the difference between the difficulties are hardcore is you die, you're dead. Your character doesn't come back. In normal, he does come back, but only after an hour. So if you do die, you have to wait an hour to get that character back, which is a bit of a pain up the ass, but, you know, I can't, that adds a little bit of risk to the game, you know, that's, I quite like that, you know, it's not totally crap, you know, or a pain up the ass. If you die, you shouldn't really die, you should be playing safe. So the character creation is quite basic. Now the game is in alpha, so you would hope this type of thing would get a bit better as time goes on. Uh, because it's really basic, and obviously this guy's choice of clothes are a bit suspect. Why he would be wearing that in a zombie apocalypse, I do not know. So, you've got some stats on the side. You've got your experience, your time survived, and, and all the rest of it. You know, pretty basic stuff. This is your inventory, so that's what you'll actually spawn with. A flashlight, bandages, soda, and a granola bar. So you need to eat and you need to drink. And that's also your global inventory, which I don't have anything in because this was this this basically was my first character created. You can change your backpack as well, but again, I don't have any backpacks to be changing. So, I mean, after you've sorted your character out, you can then play a game. So the PC gamer in me says, oh, Stylosa, you've got a server browser. Let's um, find the server with the best ping. However, as I quickly found out when this loads, the ping thing is like... Not exactly very detailed, it's just a green bar, it doesn't actually tell you what the ping is. However, you can filter it by Europe, so I'm thinking, well this is not too bad, so I'll filter it by Europe and I'll fetch the list, so it loads the next list in Euro servers. And this is where there's a bit of a problem. So I'm trying to join a server, 37 out of 40, you'd think, well, surely I've got enough time to join that. There's apparently hundreds of servers based off the, the naming system for the servers, but no, I can't join the servers. It's like, well, hmm... Later, what I did work out is, if you actually just use Quick Join, it will immediately put you into a game. The problem is, you don't know where you're going, uh, and I'm not even too sure if it's doing it by region, because it doesn't kind of tell you. Although half the time, you end up on Russian ser servers, or servers where players are speaking German, so it must be putting me on Euro servers, I don't know. But again, the not knowing is like, mm, it's a bit irritating. So when you load into the game, you kind of, this is me as I've just, this is one of my other characters, as I've just sort of ran out of the town. I've picked up instant oatmeal. So you can see I've got a flashlight, I've got bandages, can of soda and a granola bar. That's what everybody starts with. Um, but I also add instant oatmeal. Now, if you press I, you can open the inventory. So you can look at the, um, you know, obviously this stuff, you can chuck it on the floor, you can drink it. The bandages are a little bit different than in DayZ, where you kind of, band you know, use them to stop the bleeding and you eat the food to heal. In this, the bandages just give you health back straight away. I did find other bandages which did say, ah yes, they will stop bleeding and such, but at no point have I ever been bleeding. I've either just died or I've been, you know, I've sustained massive damage. And I quickly showed you just some other elements that you want. I go back and have a look at that because I was too busy ranting about bandages. I think um, that's if you want to, of course. It, it's a bit... The worst thing with the game is the zombie AI is terrible. Now, they've said they're going to fix this. And, in fact, they've said that they have fixed it. But they just haven't uploaded this yet. Now, whether they have or not, God knows, because this is what's alive at the moment. It's really bad. You know, you can, like, run away from a zombie. Maybe 50 metres, break line of sight, and that's it. The zombie is he's, he's gone. You know, he, that's it. There's other times where you can walk past zombies. Like, you can be literally standing up staring a zombie in the face, and it doesn't care. There's other times where zombies will just randomly appear. Now, whether that's down to lag, because I'm joining a, a quick join server, because I've got no choice, because it takes me absolutely ages to find a server anyway. I don't know, but it, it, it's a bit... Hmm. Some of the design as well is a bit shocking. Like, this is a fire station I've gone into, and I've aggroed a zombie through the wall, which kind of happens in Daisy as well, so... <laughs> um... These blue items on the floor, they're things you can actually pick up. So they'll be like, I think that was, uh, was it painkillers and bandages? I never quite caught it. But, you know, so that stuff's everywhere. So I'm getting chased by a zombie and I've just sprinted off out the building, run around the back of the building, back through the building, and it's like, 
almost job done. I think the zombies still just kind of follow me into the uh, store I go in across the road. No, actually, I've lost that zombie. It's a different zombie there, which is going to chase me in. But it, it, it's like they're not, they don't move very fast. They're not much of a risk. Like, you can literally sprint around a, a village, a town, or even a city to some extent and just loot everything. There's no reason to take it slow and steady. It's like... I mean, because the, the, the biggest danger is the other players, which... Okay, other players should be a danger. But the zombies should be bad as well, you know? You shouldn't just be able to run through like this. I mean, I've been chased by a zombie running around a store. I've got a, a shotgun now. It's like, well, all right, then goodbye, zombie. So I've thought at this point, oh, shit, I'm totally fucked now because I've just shot a zombie. And I can hear zombies. I'm like, shit, they're going to come and get me. Only one turned up. I'm like, well, this is a bit strange. And I shot it through the wall, which was, again, a bit cheap. <laughs> and I'm like, right, okay, so that's a bit weird. I expected a lot of zombies to come running my way. Now, there's going to be a lot of obvious comparisons between War Z and Daisy. Because I don't care what you say. War Z is an absolute clone of... Oh, so, I've met another player. I've shot her twice. Missed, I think. Three. Four times. <laughs> right, now I actually died to this player because stupidly I chased the player down. I'm like, I'm just going to shoot you and she just waits for me and kills me. Clever. But I shot that player and surely I did a load of damage to that player. You know, he should be dead. It seemed a bit ridiculous, you know, for her to just one shot me and I'm dead. Maybe it was a headshot. Maybe she had body armor on. I don't know, but body armor is not that effective. So this is a, a different character now because that character died. <laughs> so I started playing again. And this is one of the cities. It's quite small. And quite laughable that it's called a city. But on the other hand, I can understand, you know, you can't... And that's somebody shooting. You can't just, uh, you know, have a full-size city. That would be a bit ridiculous. So I've equipped my fireman's helmet. So now I look all legit. Uh, and stuff. It, and I'm making my way into this building where I promptly aggro a zombie from somewhere. I don't know. But at least I've got painkillers. So that zombie there, suddenly it's coming to get me. It's like, right, okay then. So I sprint around the corner. Now, this is a bit weird. Where are all these zombies? What? 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 Where have they come from? Why were they coming for me? I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit mad. And stuff like this happens all the time. And you can say, oh, yeah, it's an alpha. That's fine. This will get fixed. But it's my duty to actually show you these problems. So I'm dead. Okay, so I'm like, well, that's fine. I'm dead. And the zombies all stand on top of me. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Congregating over my dead body. It's a bit weird. Uh, but supposedly they've fixed the zombie AI. <laughs> but it's just yet to be uploaded. Hmm. So I think, right, the game. It's a, it's a, this is what it says on the official page. A new generation of MMO. Forget subscriptions. Forget paid DLC and expansion packs. The War Z is as simple as this. Once you install the game to your computer, you will be able to get into the game quickly and play without worrying about subscription fees, no hidden fees, and no paid updates. All updates will be seamlessly delivered to you free of charge when they're released. Add triple A graphics and effects mixed with the ability to run even on in integrated video cards and low-end laptops, and you have a unique, fun experience that is available to everyone. Now, uh, at what point is this game an MMO? That is my question. Because this game is DayZ or DayZ, however the hell you want to pronounce it. That's not an MMO. And even if they classify it as an MMO, it's not an MMO. It's just a zombie survival apocalypse game, FPS. And you could say, well, Stylosa, what's the difference between this and, say, Planet Side 2? That's an FPS game. You join servers on that. What I would say there is the population is massive, so it's got the massively multiplayer online element. This game, it's more akin to Battlefield 3. Battlefield 3 is not an MMO. You've still got character progression in Battlefield 3. You've got character progression in this. Okay, you can join, you know, you join different servers. You've got the same character progression information, same as Battlefield 3. I don't understand why this is even being called an MMO. It seems a bit ridiculous. And when they list things like, oh, forget paid DLC and expansion packs... You don't uh, forget subscriptions. It's like, well, yeah, why would you subscribe to this? There's no, uh, you know, it's held up. You have to buy the game. And then it's got the uh, in-game currency. So you can, 
it kind of has got an element of pay to win as well, which is not really that good. So I don't understand where they get off calling it an MMO. I mean, if anybody wants to shed some light on that in the comments, then by all means, go for it. There are a couple of other issues as well with this. Um, it's easy. It's not hard. In DayZ, you, you, you can't aggro zombies. You will die. You know, shotguns and, and weapons just seem to be all over the place. You know, in, in the most unlikely of areas. I mean, look at this. This is me maybe half an hour into the game. Look at all the stuff I've got. I mean, what the hell? That's a bit over the top. Well, it says 7 hours and 44 uh, minutes there. That's not actual time. That's in-game time. Um, but it, it, it's like, this is not long. You know, I've not... It's not like I've been playing this for hours and hours and hours. And I've only just got to this point. You know, I've got to this point quite fast. And I think actually this is... Um, I think this might be Stylosa who's died a few times. That's why it, the hour is kind of high. But again, that's not actual hours. That's in-game hours, whatever they classify that as but it, it, it's there's a couple of worrying things about this as well so there is a video from rhino crunch which is a youtube channel um and at the end of the video i'll put a link to the video in the uh description there is a ventrilo recording of the devs or well of one of the devs i believe his name is roman stepanov russian caliber where he's literally just abusing his admin powers. He's spawning his friends' weapons. He's saying he's going to absolutely murder bandits if they don't, you know, piss off and all the rest of it. Which is a bit lame because if you want to be a bandit, well, then surely you can be a bandit. You shouldn't be getting killed by the bloody admin. Uh, you know, one of the devs. It's massively unprofessional and it's just a bit cheap. It makes you ask yourself, do you really want to give these guys money? I mean, if you want my opinion on the game, it, it's just... Well, let me sum this up. I've played the game for probably about uh, maybe four hours. Four, well, maybe four and a half, five hours, yeah? So that's a pretty decent amount of time. Has the game made me want to come back and play it again? No, not really. I mean, if you've been watching the chat in these various clips, you'll notice that it is really poor quality. I mean, I apologise if there's... I think there's racist language actually coming up in there. One of the guys has got a racist name. It's like, what what the hell is that about? You know, it's just a bit a bit crap. I can't honestly recommend this game to anybody. The, the issue I've got is... DayZ is a superior game. Because it's more realistic. Even though it, it's pretty buggy as it is. The DayZ standalone's coming out. I don't know why you would invest in this game. When the Daisy standalone, you know, arguably is around the corner. Surely that is going to be the pinnacle. This game doesn't really innovate anything. It's not. I mean, as a game, as a game in in of itself, it isn't too bad. Right? This might sound like I'm being a bit harsh. Like, oh, this is shit. Daisy's a lot better. Daisy is better than this. But this is like, as a game, it ain't too bad. Okay, there might be loads of problems with hackers and all the rest of it and stuff like that, as you've probably seen in the comments. Like, well, in the chat. On the, on the video clips, there's people moaning about hackers and all kinds of stuff. It's... Yeah, it's just not something... I, I can't honestly recommend this game to anybody, really. I think if, if... If you've bought the game, and you've got access to the alpha, you know, and you can play the game and it's launched, it might be okay... Waste a bit of time on it, I don't know, but it's just not really... It, it, it's fairly hard for me to sum this up because the game is not... I didn't really expect much of the game and I expected it to be a DayZ clone. The extent to which it is a clone is quite shocking, really. I mean, even the uh, the environment looks arguably the same. You know, the same, like, Eastern European landscape on the go doesn't really look any different. Mm, it's, it's a bit... I mean, if you've been playing The War Z or War Z... Or War Z, depending on how you want to pronounce it, then please comment below what you think. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't think I'll be coming back to this game. And I don't think I can wholeheartedly recommend this to anybody, really, given you know the points I've outlined. Hmm. So I've been Stylosa, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. And no doubt I'll catch you next time. Toodaloo.